Three D boxing here with another one of Fort Worth's great Ben Gurmit. Uh, undefeated. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We're gonna call you a uh, welterweight or junior welterweight. What, what, junior welterweight. Junior, you know I'm campaigning at 140 now. So. Uh, what and all? Two draws. I want to talk to you about those two draws. Um, you fought Jones and um, and Bagley. Bagley. Two touted guys. You fought them both to a draw when they were probably expected to beat you. Uh, so talk to us about how what it's like to be. The underdog in those fights and, and, and how you, you cope with that and, and give the performances that you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So whenever I fought Baggy, I fought Baggy last year of uh, October, so it's been a year already. You know, we were uh, expecting a fight. You know, we were uh, called to fight uh, Bagley, of course. You know, we were on the B side, you know. But um, me being me, you know, I, I, don't, I don't turn down a fight, you know. So um, we did our research, you know. We, 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 we saw he had some flaws. So we, we definitely were like, okay, let's take this fight, you know. And, uh, you know, we came in on the B side, like I said, and uh, I came to fight. I think um, I think he wasn't expecting uh, me to be uh, hit as hard as I was, especially, you know, being at, I fought at 154 pounds, and, you know, I, I could walk around at 55, 58, you know, so I, I didn't cut any weight. Uh, coming from the amateurs, I fought at 152, so it wasn't, uh, I didn't have to cut weight for that fight, so, you know, I didn't think, at first I thought he was, uh, he wasn't anticipating uh, the power shots until, like, the second round, I, I, I remember catching him with, like, a big straight left, and, I, and he said, he even said, oh, shit, you know, where I heard it, so I'm like, okay, you know, I think I got this dude, so, you know. And I came to fight, you know, and I brought the fight to him. And he's naturally, because he's a natural, he's a lot bigger than he, you. He, yeah, he um, was. He, he, he swelled up after so weight. You know? <laughs> that power is real. And then the Jones fight, which came after that. Yes, yeah, so the, the Jordan Jones, Jones fight, another highly touted guy from uh, the Dallas area. Um, first off, just between me and you and everyone listening, did you win that fight? Did you I did win that you fight. Did you know, that fight. I, I, I brought the pressure, you know, I applied the pressure, and I was breaking him down and slowing him down, where, you know, he was kind of backpedaling a little bit, you know, towards those later rounds, so... I think I did enough to win that fight. Um, and again, that, that was a sensational win, and another win with Fort Worth over Dal Dallas. So always keep that up. I always like to see that. Uh, but you're part of uh, the big return to um, boxing here, live boxing here in the Metroplex. Uh, tell us about what, what's going on December uh, November 20th. Okay, so November 20th, I uh, was in, you know, called a fight on the um, Garcia promotion, which is uh, Mikey Garcia's promotion for a second time. You know, I fought for them February uh, 2019, you know, where I fought to a draw with Jordan Jones, who was a tough guy. But you um, won. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, everybody in Fort Worth knows. Um, so, you know, they, they called me back. They had actually had a, a fight scheduled for July, which, you know, with the pandemic, you know, it got canceled. So, um, we stayed, in, we stayed in the gym, you know, and I knew it was coming, so I, I stayed in the gym, I stayed ready, you know, and um, so we got the call to fight a guy, Shaw Silva, who um, recently just pulled out last week, and we had to get a, you know, a short notice guy to fill in, so, you know, I'm, I'm coming to fight, I'm coming to fight November 20th. I know we don't overlook any opponent, but for a guy with uh, three fights, you've been matched incredibly tough, and, and you've done done your best um yes, you've done really well you've hung in there arguably won all three you definitely won the jones fight yes, uh, i mean so i mean what's that like you know you know that you're going in there to be an opponent to pad their record right like that's kind of the way they look at you and then what's it like when you outbox these kids exactly you know like i said for jones you know he, he comes with a, a great amateur record you know he has a lot of experience you know and we knew that coming into the fight however you know um I've been in this gym for four years, like I said, and you know I get some of the greats, the best sparring around North Texas. So um, we knew that uh, I could capitalize on it, you know. And I, like I said, I brought the pressure, and that pressure I think is what started to slow him down. Um, where can everyone buy tickets? How can how can they come support you? Tell us about that. Okay, yeah, definitely. So Tuesday's the last day for tickets because we got a tournament Wednesday. So we have tickets here at FHG and White Settlement, 806 South Cherry Lane. We'll have those available here until Tuesday, and then also on hand, I carry tickets with me. So you shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram at my Facebook is Benjamin Gurman, and then my Instagram is Buck Gurman. So shoot me a message if you want to meet up. I'll meet you up, you know, and we'll get tickets there. Can you tell us about that nickname? Bup? Where, Bup? Oh, so where did that come from? Who gave you that? Bup is actually a family uh, given nickname. Okay. So my family's been calling me that since I was a kid, and it's just I just threw it on there. You know? <laughs> All right, um, can we get a prediction for your fight? I mean, do you know much about your opponent, and, and what can we no, expect to see? We, we, you know, we 
you know, like I said, it was a short notice fight guy. You know, we didn't really know. We don't know anything about him. Okay. Uh, he's making a pro debut, so, you know, um, I've had a great camp. Uh, luckily, well, actually, it was a blessing that Edward and my camp fell on the same. So, you know, I've been smart with him. He needed a, a taller southpaw. You know, I needed a sharp, sharp, uh, right-handed guy, you know, and Edward was the man. So, you know, I, I can't say I know much about this guy, but, you know, I'm ready to fight, and I'm going to bring the fight to him. And then um, I, I asked uh, Tony Lopez and I asked Eddie Vasquez, uh, December 5th, boxing returns to the Metroplex oh, again. Yeah, Spence and Garcia, who do you got in that and why? Ooh, that's going to be a tough one because, you know, they say you can't count out Danny Swift Garcia because he is sharp. You know, he's a very talented fighter. But I think, you know, Spence is going to take the win. You know, he's a big pressure fighter. You know, he, he has a lot of power, and I think he'll slow him down. So I, I got to go with Spence. Tell everyone where they can find you on all forms of social media. All right, yeah, so on Facebook, I'm at Benjamin Buck Gurmit, uh, Instagram, at Buck Gurmit. You know, follow me. If you haven't seen him, really, under, really underrated uh, prospect, really good youngster. Uh, he's fought three really good opponents, and he's 1-0-2, oh, and, and he should be probably, maybe 3-0, oh, but definitely 2-0-1. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> God bless, champ. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you.